Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will discuss about Toronto notes for the preparation of MCC Q1 examination. If you are new to this channel, my name is Paul. I am posting videos on the US and Canadian licensing exams every week in this channel. Before further get going, be sure to like this video if you haven't already as it really does help a lot and subscribe the notification on for more videos like this. If you want to further support this channel, please check out some of the links I put in the description below. Now let's get started. First of all, I'm sure you must have heard about Toronto notes for the preparation of Q1 and everyone knows who is planning for the Q1. But the question is, should you study Toronto notes or not? There are so many positive negative thoughts regarding Toronto notes and I personally got so many emails regarding this. That is why I'm making this video. A quick disclaimer, what I'm discussing in today's video is entirely my opinion. You do not necessarily need to agree with that, but at the end you can decide what you should do. And I would appreciate it if you would comment below what do you think. First, let's talk about what is Toronto Notes. It is a comprehensive medical reference and review book for the MCQ1 examination. The biggest advantage is you will find all the chapters in a single book that will help you prepare for the Q1 examination. You do not need to follow multiple books, just one. Now the problem is even though it is a concise review book, the volume is huge, almost 1500 pages, which means it will take a long time if you want to go through it in detail. And as it is a concise book, it might be hard to study, particularly if you have a gap in studying medicine. So what I mean is if you are already in medical school or just completed your medical school, you have your fresh knowledge notes in your mind from your medical school. So it is easy to follow, but as I said earlier, it is hard and boring to study Toronto notes if you have a gap. This is because you will not find that much explanation and it is difficult to memorize without an explanation. Now, if I compare the same with USMLE Step 1, there is a book First Aid USMLE Step 1, which is a great resource for Step 1. But you will not understand the book unless you have a basic fundamental knowledge of medical science. The same applies to Toronto Notes for Q1. Now, how can you overcome difficulty studying Toronto Notes? There are two things you can do. Either you can go back to your notes from medical school, or you can watch pre-recorded lectures to refresh your knowledge and then start Toronto Notes. It does not mean you always have to do that. If you feel comfortable with Toronto Notes right away, then of course keep going. Now the other question is, can you pass Q1 exam without Toronto Notes? Absolutely. I did not study Toronto Notes that much and I passed the exam with a competitive score. But you have to be strategic. I have a full video on my experience, resources, materials that I use for Q1 examination. If you have an interest, please click the link in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you find this video helpful, please subscribe to my channel and like this video. Thank you so much for watching.